latest version of the title is Individual Vitamin D Sensitivity. So here we're diving now into a cell. We are already here in the nucleus of cell. Vitamin D, or the, the biological the most abundant form, 25-hydroxyvitamin D, enters the cell, gets in that cell, maybe immune cell, converted to biological active form, or you would take it up. This molecule is uh, lipid soluble, so therefore it goes easily through the membranes. And then inside the nucleus is reaches this vitamin D receptor. It's the only protein in our cells which binds with high affinity vitamin D or this biological active form to be more correct. So this vitamin D receptor is a protein which acts like a light switch. So you have to imagine our body being a very big building with thousands of rooms, or in fact it is uh, 10 to the power of 13 rooms or cells, and it has thousands of light switches, like every larger room has many light switches. So what vitamin D in fact is doing is switching on light or switching on genes. And what it in fact does is it opens up chromatin. Uh, and chromatin is genomic DNA, our DNA we have in each of our cells wrapped around proteins called nucleosomes. And this could be either rather dense, sorry, dense here, or being rather open. And only at the open region the vitamin D receptor can bind. But it can do, as I will explain in a moment a bit more detail, open the chromatin and change this epigenome. Uh, Dr. Spitz already mentioned about the epigenome. So this is the part of our genome that we can change by what we're doing, by our lifestyle. So vitamin D does first uh, has effect on the epigenome. This, this is chromatin opening and closing. Then on the production of RNA, so this is the molecules which uh, go out of the uh, nucleus and get in the cytosol converted to protein, being the matrix to build proteins to be more correct. So changes in vitamin D also change the proteome, that means the proteins that we have in our cells, and that has then function on physiology, those changes in physio.